Hello, everyone. My name is Eric Lau, the host of tonight's show, Career Outlook for 2009. And today is our first episode, episode one. And we're going to talk about finding a job in today's job market. So I'll uh, just begin with uh, just a couple of items that uh, we're going to go through for tonight's topic. Uh, we're going to take a look at the job search, resume search, internet job search tactics, as well as personal branding. I'm going to talk a little bit about that, uh, I guess, in, in, in a moment. So to first start off, let's talk about job search. So how do I get started? A lot of people are kind of wondering, especially in today's kind of uh, economic climate and also the tough job market out there. Where should I like? Where should I start to find that? Uh, I guess the first step in terms of uh, finding that job, either as a dream job or just a job in general. So the first f first area that I like to go into is to focus on the different type of internet job sites that you can, I guess, go through. And I guess most of you probably have some ideas to where those those uh, the job boards are. So uh, one of them, obviously, a lot of people probably would know is Wikopolis and, and as well as Monster, which is kind of more the general job boards. So um, in, in a sense, I'm just going to give a pretty brief summary. Those are definitely a, uh, it's a good starting point. I think everyone should at least register there and at least have a resume profile uh, loaded up in, uh, in Wikopolis or Monster just to kind of get your name out there. Uh, but it, the other boards that some, uh, I guess some of you should be aware of is more of a industry specific type of job boards. So let's say if you are in accounting or whether you are in marketing or engineering, there's different type of boards where it's, uh, it's more specialized in your field. And I think you should, I guess, definitely put a lot more attention into putting a profiles if they, they have that capability within the job board or at least trying to look through some of the job posting there on a regular basis and just to kind of get yourself out there. The, the other areas that um, I would say you should, uh, like job seeker out there should definitely focus in is, is, um, is, internet, is internet networking. What, what I mean by internet networking is that uh, a lot of uh, areas such as, um, such as uh, Facebook or more professionally for for I guess the job market these days are are the LinkedIn type of network, which provides a lot of uh, uh, different avenue for you to really kind of um, connect with the right professionals um, that are in your field to kind of get your name out there and also be known that uh, you are in the market to look for jobs. Um, because I, I would say probably LinkedIn is one of the most powerful tools right now for any direct hiring from, from organizations. And the third area is more back into the traditional type of networking. Uh, what I mean is uh, if, uh, for a certain industry, again, let's say accounting or marketing, you should always go back to your, to your, I guess, association on a regular basis as well, just to network and to kind of, um, uh, uh, I guess, uh, build that relationship. And I, th I strongly encourage all of you, even if you are not actively looking to at least keep that as a, a, a periodic type of uh, um, event that you should go to, to really kind of continue building your network because it's very important for any type of career development. It's not just how well you can do your job, but uh, sometimes it's more about the, the network within your space, which uh, a lot of people term like social capital. Uh, so th that brings us to the next kind of uh, avenue, is which is recruiting agency. Recruiting agency, they are quite specialized in usually in a certain industry sector. And uh, just to give you a little bit more background, depending on at your current career level, um, agency would probably be useful at least at the manager level and up. Just for someone who is more of a, on an entry level position or just kind of getting their career started, um, most agencies uh, probably uh, may not be as effective as if you were to sometimes um, I guess find a job on your own. But in any case, I think you should always explore different types of avenues and to really kind of get, get yourself in the market and just to be proactive in your job search. So the, uh, in terms of uh, resume, that's actually one of the key areas that a lot of um, people kind of um, asking me a lot as like how should I make my resume look better? So there's a couple of 
factors that constitutes what's a good resume. And I would probably start with basically the most basic. The resume should be polished. And what I mean by polish is that it should not have any spelling mistake. It should be well written and it should be well structured, concise and to the point. In terms of the length of a resume, I guess the ideal length would be probably somewhere between two pages to three pages. Also, again, depending on the industry specific sector that you, you are in, in terms of your professional career, uh, sometimes more the technical IT areas, there's resume that may go up to 10 pages or more, but I would strongly encourage that you should have at least a short form of your resume at two pages, regardless of which industry you're at. The other aspect is to always customize your resume. Um, you should always, uh, when you apply for a specific job, you should always look into what exactly they are looking for, and you should highlight the specific experience and skill set that you have to that job. Uh, there is no one resume that fits all. If you want to have an effective impact, you need to do this step to really kind of catch the attention of the hiring managers. So it's very important to review the job description and pick out which type of uh, uh, criteria is important for the, for, for the hiring manager's decision-making process. And usually those would be the first three points within the role and responsibility within the job description. So take note of that. And also know your resume when you when you are in the interview. You should know exactly every single bullet points that you list on your resume. If there's things there that you have not done that you falsify, that's a really big red flag, and basically it just ruins the whole process. So I would strongly encourage you to be honest and just put what's what you have done in your resume and be able to speak readily on each of those items. And also a lot of people ask about cover letters. Cover letters, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a something that it's always been uh, required in the past, but these days, uh, depending on the specific role, uh, for, I can speak directly for uh, most agency, they do not require a cover letter. Usually it's more about the resume. So I, I would suggest that spend the time on your resume first, and also if they do require a cover letter, Things to really focus on on a cover letter is to again uh, really specific on that job that you're, uh, you're applying for. So really caters toward that cover letters in highlighting your previous experience directly to the job description, and do not spend too much on saying things that are more like, oh, I have a lot of leadership skills. I'm very personable. I work well with a team. That's good to have, but but you keep it to a limit. Because if your entire co uh, cover letter is basically of that nature, it basically doesn't tell the employer much about anything. Because every single person's cover letter, it's like that. And you don't. And the point of a cover letter, if you are at that, uh, if you want to make it effective and have an impact, is to really distinguish you from your competition, from other job applicants. So again, go back to the job description and highlight your specific relevance to that role when you are doing your cover letters. So, uh, internet job search. It is a very competitive environment these days, as uh, everyone is aware. So, a couple of things to really keep in mind. I would probably encourage you to really review what your, your current career path, your current, uh, I guess, uh, career level, and just to be realistic. Because sometimes you come, uh, especially in this market, the job market is quite, t uh, quite competitive. For someone who is uh, who is currently not employed and want to get into a senior position, it's it might be a quite unrealistic. It's probably better to really go for a position that is at your current level, and just kind of focus your attention on that piece rather than saying okay, I want this manager title because I've been uh, an analyst for about a year now. So just to be realistic, because, it, uh, because a lot of times if you apply for a lot of jobs that you are not really readily uh, uh, qualified for, it does impact your confidence level and in terms of your, your um, ability to kind of get back in the job market will deteriorate. And the second point is also, as I mentioned earlier, I can't really emphasize that enough, is that it's really important to really map your resume to the job description because that really keeps help kind of uh, catcher, capture the attention of the uh, uh, potential job employer. 
And again, it's a number game. Getting back to the the different method, like going through the job boards, going through the social networking, really kind of uh, build up a LinkedIn account, even on Facebook, to really kind of get your name out there to kind of get the attention of potential employee. That's very important. So the the more you do, the higher the chess, uh, success rate that you have. And also. Keep track of your job where you have applied to, either uh, whether you do it in uh, personally or whether you had submitted your resume to a friend, to to a to a to a specific organization and to which, which department that you have gone to. Really keep track of where you have gone uh, gone to because at the end of the day, if you are also engaging a recruiting agency to help you with your job search and you had already been submitted by either of your friend or yourself, it really would put the recruiting agency in a difficult position to really help you because if the two resume is being sent at the same time, it, a lot of times it gets eliminated because employer would view that this person cannot control where his resume, which is a highly confidential document, presented to, to the same employer. So just keep in mind those couple of points regarding your job search process. Next, I'm going to talk about personal branding, which I kind of, this is a new area that I think a lot of people may or may not have a, a full understanding of what exactly they are. So in a sense, personal branding is treating yourself as more of like a, new organi like a company. You yourself is the CEO of your organization. You should have developed perhaps an elevator pitch, which is definitely very important for your networking type of event when you do go and meet an individual like meet individuals that are within your professions you have to be able to really distinguish yourself from your peers and your competitors in terms of job application so you should develop something that is unique captures the attention of the potential hiring managers or people that was within the field that may potentially help you with your job search. So it's, it, uh, there is no right or wrong. I guess a couple of key things is that it should be something a bit unique and talks about your successes within that career pro, uh, profession that you have done in the past. And keep it short within ideally 20 seconds, if not uh, uh, shorter. And also, to create an internet presence, like I said, the Facebook, the LinkedIn account, and also if you do have the resources and time, maybe investigate the possibility of doing your own website and maybe some sort of YouTube video where people would be easily uh, able to kind of see you in person, how you communicate and how you present. I think that's very key and important. And try to be innovative because, again, it's a competitive market out there. There's a lot of individual with your same type of uh, similar skill set. So in order to get the job uh, that you are looking for and kind of beat out your competitor, you need to be innovative in a lot of ways. So just keep a, these things in mind when you, when, when you are going through your, your job search. And um, I would say... Yeah, I think that would conclude, the, I guess, our first episode one for our career outlook for 2009. And uh, thank you for, uh, I guess, uh, watching Toronto TV. And I'd like to uh, well, see you in uh, episode two then. Have a great night. Under 十分鐘啊。